right? So here we go. For uh, trail stop number three, this will serve as your captain's meeting. Uh, again, this is the river tournament for the year, and this tournament is smallmouth only. If you catch a largemouth and try to submit it, it's going to get denied. <laughs> That's the uh, the whole purpose behind this event is to highlight the smallmouth uh, fisheries that we have here in Northern Virginia, and um, you know, to to give it our best and get out of our comfort zones, like I was saying uh, here just a few moments ago. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the um, uh, the um, the fishing chaos page right now. Like I said, we're at 39 anglers. I already know a couple of folks still haven't signed up yet that will be signing up by tomorrow night. The uh, ticket sales end tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. tomorrow night's the cutoff. If you have an emergency or some sort of um, you know issue that requires you to back out of this event, please get with me no later than uh, you know end of day tomorrow, like midnight Friday night, because otherwise once we get into the tournament and the tournament started, we, we, we don't really have the ability to give refunds at that point. Everything's already been calculated, payouts have been set up, so um, if you need to back out and you have a good reason to back out, let me know by tomorrow night. Um, again, uh, like all of our other tournaments this year, you can launch when you want to launch if you're fishing the NVKBA event. Again, this is a joint event with KAV, right? Kayak Anglers of Virginia is the, is the statewide Virginia uh, hot next level um, trail series, and they're piggybacking off of us. Now, if you're fishing the KAV event too, just remember KAV is um, a little more uh, uh, what we consider a you know prestigious type trail, so there's a little bit more strict rules that go along with that and they require you to launch within an hour of the start time so you can only launch after 5 a.m so they adjusted their times to go 6 a.m to 2 p.m with us if you're fishing kav remember you cannot launch earlier than 5 a.m okay so you have an hour if you're only fishing with us with nvkba you got you can launch earlier than that um as long as you're not pre-fishing right quote unquote pre-fishing can mean anything from fishing um mapping doing chart plotting scouting things like that is all considered pre-fishing so your sole purpose when you hit the water if you're getting out before 6 a.m is to get to your spot and sit there you know you can go ahead and rig up your stuff you know um kind of get your get your mind right but there's no uh pre-fishing activities involved in launch all right so just keep that in mind guys i don't i don't want to hit on that too much more but for those that have questions and if you have you know if you're if you're not clear on something, please let me know, and we'll make sure that that uh, gets addressed. So again, smallmouth bass only. Any largemouth will be disqualified. And this is an NVKBA AOY event and Rookie of the Year event. And it's also a 2022 KBF National Championship qualifying event. Uh, again, if you're fishing this event, you must be a paid 2021 member of NVKBA or KAV. We're allowing those who are here to fish the KAV event to also double dip and fish our event. You don't have to be a member of NVKBA if you're a member of KAV and or one of the other clubs um, here in Virginia that are uh, K KAV affiliated. All right. As always, guys and gals, we expect you to know and understand the KBF rules, right? If you're unclear about a rule, bring it to my attention and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And what I'm going to more than likely ask you or if you, if you have a question in general that uh, is re regarding something that can be found in the rules, um, the first thing I wanna ask you is have you looked in the rules, right? So make sure you do your homework. If you are unclear on something, just definitely let me know. All right, uh, locations right now, Shenandoah River, Upper Potomac River, and the Rappahannock slash the Rapidan Rivers um, down in Fredericksburg, uh, Spotsylvania area, okay? We already went over the boundary waters. I put those out ahead of time, well ahead of time, so that you guys can get your pre-fishing in. So if you have any questions or still are unclear about the boundary waters, let me know. I'm not going to go over all those tonight. Um, first cast is at 6 a.m. to 2, and then uh, lines in at 2 p.m. You have a submission cutoff of 3 p.m. So you have an hour after you get off the water or after you're done fishing. You don't have to be off the water at 2 p.m., but you got to have all of your fish caught and photographed by 2 p.m. If you submit a photo at uh, 2 p.m. in one second or 2 p.m. in uh, you know 201 it's not going to count all right it's that 159 59 mark okay 
So, uh, but again, you have until 3 p.m. to get those submitted. I know service is gonna be spotty out there for a lot of folks, especially in the Shenandoah Valley. So um, if you are having any issues submitting through the app, please um, give me a call or let me know and we'll work with you. I understand there's some hiccups with the app. Um, you know, it's not entirely the angler's fault on some of these hiccups. So please just communication is the biggest thing, guys. Um, if, if you're not communicating with me and you have an issue, I'm gonna have a harder time, you know, um, uh, you know, I don't want to say making exceptions, but I'm going to have a harder time working with you if you're coming to me at, you know, 250 and saying, hey, uh, I'm having issues. I, you know, no, it's too late. All right. You got, you're trying to make something happen in 10 minutes that should have happened an hour ago. So, um, you know, we're willing to work with you if you work with us. All right. Uh, but again, 2 p.m. cutoff for uh, fish caught. The results and awards are going to be virtual for this event, as stated before. A lot, everyone's going to be dispersed throughout these rivers uh, and in these different uh, fisheries. So, we understand that it doesn't really make sense to have a um, an in-person award ceremony as we're pretty used to doing. Um, again, you know, last year was was last year, uh, but we did get pretty efficient at the virtual stuff. So. You know, this is one of those events this year that we're mixing that in and uh, it just makes sense, right? Um, we're not going to have folks driving two hours to uh, try to make it, you know, to a virtual or to an in-person event when most of the time, you know, you're pretty tired at the end of the day fishing. So we just want you guys to be able to kick back, relax, and go ahead and watch that. We're going to push the, the virtual um, award ceremony to 8 p.m. on Saturday night. So it gives you plenty of time to get home, get refreshed, get a shower, grab some dinner and hang out and enjoy um, you know, the live, uh, Facebook live awards ceremony. So, um, and obviously we're still going to highlight all of our sponsors through that. And this event, we will be shipping out whatever prizes are won, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so no need to worry about, we're not going to, you know, unless you're, you live close to me in Stafford, no, we're going to plan on shipping out your stuff. So, and if not, we can, you know, meet up at some point. Um, and then, We'll go over some more of those, uh, some more things that we have in mind for the next two events. Uh, I'm not going to get into them right now, but it will involve um, some changes in the way that we do prizes, especially prizes um, at in-person events where an angler may not be able to show up or, or just decides not to show up to the in-person event. That prize, um, we're talking about rolling that prize down because, you know, none of us... Uh, you know, have all the time in the world to be able to meet up with people after the events or, or the money to, that it takes to ship things around uh, for events that really we, the whole purpose of that meetup is to have you there and to be able to shake the winner's hand or congratulate them and, and just be part of the camaraderie of the sport. So again, we'll get into more of that later. I don't want to eat up the whole Cavs meeting for that, but I did want to kind of put that out there um, and just let everybody, for everyone know that for this event, we will be shipping the prizes. So um, the ID code is going to be released Saturday morning. I already have that automatically set up for 5 a.m. So it'll be out by email 5 a.m. And then we're going to get it posted up on the Facebook group page as well. So um, that's that. Safety topics goes without saying. PFD worn at all times unless you are changing an article of clothing or you have to use the restroom. We say during competition, right? If you're out there competing, if you're casting a line, if you're scouting, you're rigging baits, anything that has to do with fishing, um, that dang life vest better be on and it better be zipped up. All right, don't play around on these rivers. I don't, I don't know what the levels are going to be like right now. I know we're supposed to get a little bit of rain. Uh, I don't know how that's really going to affect it or if it's going to affect it that much at all. I know the levels are low, but you never know. Um, you might get into a spot where the water's moving quicker, and if you capsize, um, you know, God hopes you're, you know, we hope you're wearing that that PFD and and doing the right thing and uh, saving your own life. You know, it's not worth the uh, a couple hundred bucks, right? Uh, again, drinking alcohol, using illegal substances while competing in NVKBA events, and any KBF sanctioned event for that matter is, is not authorized, and it'll be an automatic DQ and, and a ban from future events. So uh, just, I don't know how else to say it, guys. Don't make stupid decisions uh, for eight hours of your life. <laughs> Entry fees and payouts, right? All right, Big Bass again is included in that $40 payout, so everybody's in the Big Bass this time. Uh, in all the events this year. And right now, I did not calculate the payout after the 35, but when we were at 35, uh, we were looking at a $595 payout for first place, $273 for second place, 
$142 for third place and $107 for fourth place and $71 for fifth place. Big Bass will be taking home at least $175. So again, after the 39 anglers, uh, we got four more anglers sign up since I calculated those payouts. It looks like first place is gonna be uh, over $600. So, um, and again, we have until tomorrow night to sign up. So if you know some friends out there, if you start seeing um, you know, some uh, light at the end of the tunnel, if you um, have confidence in your spot, get signed up guys this is uh again it's a qualifying event and remember that this year we're dropping one event but you still have to fish four events to qualify for the classic that's four out of five events okay so if you miss this one and you fish the first two tournaments you better be fishing the last two or you're not going to qualify for the classic all right and um you know or if you do fish this one and you do poorly um you know, obviously you better fish the last two again so that you can drop this one or drop one of your previous two events. So it's four out of five all the way this year. There's no um, no exceptions on that. You gotta fish four of them uh, to make the classic and you can drop one. So really, you know, it's your best four events. Um, what else? Let's see, we covered that, uh, covered safety. Um, guys, these, these sponsor prizes, um, we could not be uh, more thankful for the sponsors that we have and uh, we'll, we'll call each and every one of them out individually as it gets closer to the tournament and obviously after the tournament when we, uh, when we uh, know the winners of those prizes. So uh, we appreciate them very much as always and we do ask that if you win a sponsored prize, um, you know, don't sell it for a year. We try to, try to you know, especially if it's something, you know, of, of good value. Um, you know, we hope that you appreciate that prize, and if you don't need it or want it, to maybe hand it down to the next guy. So, um, again, you know, we just try to show that respect back to our sponsors because we wouldn't be able to have this this kind of event and this these caliber events and these awesome prizes without them and, and their support for us. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I got when it comes to the captain meetings, guys. I'm still looking at 39. Let me hit refresh. Yep, still at 39 anglers. So get those tickets in, and uh, you have till 10 p.m. tomorrow night. I'm gonna go through, see here if there's any comments, and I'm not seeing any. So um, we definitely appreciate it. I'm gonna get this posted up on YouTube, and I'm gonna get it sent out uh, via Fishing Chaos on email so that everybody has a copy of it. So once again, thanks very much, guys. Have a great evening, and we will see you on Saturday. Uh, take care, guys, and have a good night.